Wherever you watch from, you know, it's another beautiful Friday morning and it is the thank God it's Friday edition of WhatsApp on Kalazi television. Today we Friday, October 11th, 2024. How fast the month month has gone, you know. Just few days and half of the month is gone. I hope you're good, I hope you're fine, I hope your mental health is in check. I hope you're doing great for yourself. Uh, like we always say on this program, if you are, as long as you're in Nigeria, mm, you are doing well already. So waking up and being alive is enough. Uh, something to be grateful for. You should be grateful for life. Welcome once again to our staff. Yes, 10 to 11 a.m. Mondays to Friday. My name is for maybe a dollar. <laughs> Someone is looking at me with bombastic side eye. Wait, okay. Yeah, that's my name. Welcome. So, what's up? We do a whole lot. We do movie reviews. We do celebrity jazz. We do fashion and style, trendy issues. And of course, the icing on the cake is where we bring in a list celebrity guest. Mm. Yesterday, we brought someone who, whose ears are always at alert he hears a lot a sound engineer someone who uses his ears to, to discern what is good and what is not good for movies and for stuff like that when it has to be sound but today we brought someone who knows how to use his eyes his eyes hmm. oh what i want to talk about in fact i'm so happy that these people are here uh, this person is in the studio today because what i want to i have been I've been wanting to ask a particular question and today we have the person in the studio but I'm not going to let him talk now because I cannot ask all these questions alone that is why I always come to this program because after the show I know some persons would want to come and uh, ask challenge me or just some things but because I have my bouncer my bodyguard my puchu puchu my sherry coco the big size teddy bear the sugar daddy of lagos uh these days uh, lately i have added another one to the name olari to the name i have a name the studio ladies and gentlemen my co-host orali aka olari how are you you are fine i can see you can loud it please <laughs> I will not say anything. Please say it. I said your name is Orali, aka Olari. No, there's no AK. I will not tell you anything. I'm looking for Joy has power. That's how you are my bouncer. Joy has power. That's how you are my bouncer. I'm your what? Bouncer. The way you do it downstairs, I will do like I do here. I'll pull up cash for it. Continue. Continue. Keep it up. Anyway, um, Lagos, good morning. Um, Nigeria world, anyway, watching from. Um, we have people watching from Syria, Lebanon, Togo, parts of Ghana as well. Um, free to air. So, yes, it's a terrestrial thing. So, we head on to the HF27. But those of you who have the coders, your houses, and people watch Galaxy Television from shallow waters where you have to go to your houses.
also on YouTube, very, very common. They yeah. to search things. And punch in Galaxy Television Entertainment and voila. Um, you get to see very beautiful places like the cross world that you have to have in my country, especially on things like this. Um, the show runs Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And so far, so we are enjoying ourselves. This week has been a very um, blockbuster one. Yeah. Anyhow, it is anyway, since we're about to have so much fun and we have some exciting things to do and we're about to squeeze the ears behind to see how we can get to that from our own community. And we're squeezing and trying to get one to the future of the bottom of the hand. Hope you guys are going to be following us on this very beautiful ride. Yeah, that's true. Thank you so much, Rolly. Just uh, as I said earlier, we have someone who, you know, I don't know how these guys, I don't know how they use their sites. You, you know, they can just see something and out of nothing they create something beautiful. And it's always, it always comes out uniquely. And we'll go on this quick break. I was almost calling his name. But we'll just go on this quick break. When we come back, you're going to be meeting a fine man in the city. He's very fine. We are in black. Back. This is the WhatsApp on Galaxy Television, and of course, I have a relay with me in the studio. And we have a special guest who is seated right in between us. Is it my left? My left, or at least right on this side? Right. <laughs> he, he is well sad. Good looking, handsome, and cool. You know. How would you know he's cool? He is, yes, because his appearance, though appearance can be the serial killers, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm, I'm, I'm saying? But this morning we have a celebrity photographer, someone who, as I said, he knows how to use his eyes. Yesterday's guest was his ears. Today, this one knows how to use his eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have in the studio Kingsley. A canem, am I right? Yes, yeah, sure, right, sure. I hope I pronounced that correctly. A canem, yeah, Ekanem. yeah, you got it right. Well, how are you this morning? Yeah, I'm very well. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, um, I trust that it's going to be an amazing conversation. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, Your you look amazing as well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. You can love it. Even when someone some, so, someone is not happy about that statement to me, but you know we're used to it. Why would you the person? You, you. This is the only problem I have in my life. Once this person is not part of my life, I'm caught. You have a beautiful problem. <laughs> yeah. I was going to the studio this morning, Kesley. Yeah, it's it's okay. I think I feel really great. Uh, excited. Okay, traffic, no oh, traffic. Oh, you, you really mean on my way? Yeah, to here. yeah. I, I mean a bit of traffic, of course. It's it's Friday and you expect a bit of traffic, but it wasn't bad, it was something uh, bearable. So I, I was able to get in early. So it was, a good, it was a good one. Yes, photographers. You know what I always say already? There are some people that may not make heaven. Even without us knowing, photographers are one of them. <laughs> I saw a picture of one girl. She wore a bikini. When I saw the real picture and I saw what a photographer did, I said, ah, some photographers will not make heaven. They are, are okay, makeup artists are part of those people that will not make heaven. No, photographers. Photographers? They chop life. Ah, uh, really? How do you guys do it? You will see this person. You know the person is not properly packaged, though. Or really, by the time a photographer handles that picture, you will see <laughs> the likes of Orali will be, oh, man, who is this babe? How do you guys do that? What's the magic? The 
orally. Why are you what? dragging me into nonsense? <laughs> What's the magic behind it? Okay, I, I think that um, photography itself, the essence of images is to tell a story. Okay. Right. So, for instance, there's, you have a subject that somehow does not really appeal, right? And you want to be able to, you know, uh, infuse that beauty into the subject, into the person. So your duty as a photographer, as a creative photographer, is to be able to somehow create that sense of beauty into that subject or into that person. So that's one of the reasons where you see some portraits before and after looks mm -hmm. different, because the essence is to create that beauty. The essence is to be able to show this beauty to the world. Right, so it's basically about you, you know, interpreting your visuals, you know, creating a perception. This is this person. This is how this person looks. But to be able to, you know, create this, you know, inner sense of beauty, to just, you know, somehow bring it out entirely, you have to do one or two two things in Photoshop, and it's it's basically about what it should be, right? You know, the essence, the ability to tell a story and also, you know, generate this sense of beauty to a person, right? So that's one of the purpose of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, practicing photography. In fact, there are many questions that will follow that <laughs> explanation, honestly. My own is very mm -hmm. simple. You have women. Of course. The, the gender that... Um, <laughs> don't even spill it. The gender that made us eat apple. Those people, you know them. They come into the studios, and um, <laughs> I don't know. Photographers are blessed because your level of. Hmm, <laughs> is I hope it's a good thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, are you finding it difficult to say? <laughs> I'm trying to coin the words. Yes, the perfect, okay. You know, I see things every day. Me, that is not right. the camera. Mm. And then these people hold the camera and you see ladies coming to the studios. There was a picture, in fact, it was a video and a picture of a very beautiful girl. That girl was in, I think it was in 400 level that time. So she came in 100 level in school and she was one of the hottest girls and people were trying to check her but she's not great. One day, a photographer in school that was my bunkmate, it was at the top bunk. I usually don't stay in the hostel, but sometimes I come to chill with them and then go back off campus. He just opened his laptop and he was showing me something. I just saw this girl's videos and pictures and she didn't wear nothing. I shouted, Hey, Faye, how did you get this thing? And that's how, see, and I asked him, Should be a pastor's son. He's, he's one of the biggest producers. In Abuja right now, I'm trying to remember. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, FA. He has uh, dreads and all that. He does mashups and all that. And then I I tried to find out how he got this picture, but I knew he was a very good photographer. photographer yeah? And this was my question to him: How did you stay sane? Yeah, those video and the pictures. Because she was very, very voluptuous, she was very curvy, mm -hmm. and. He was able to take the angles right and all that, and still stay sane. Mm -hmm. What what's what's your energy? What's your superpower in doing that? You know, that's really a great question, and it's something I I speak about whenever I, I speak to photographers anywhere. So basically, or oh, first of all, you are a professional, right? So being a professional has so many factors that makes you a professional. First of all you have to be more intentional, right? So when you're creating these kind of images, especially uh, the nude images, mm -hmm. you're intentional. The essence is to be able to tell a story, not the other way around. So everything around you, you know, surround, just surround about, everything around, everything about you so somehow put, you have to put together the sense that you must tell the story. And the same part is you maintaining your personality, right? Your professionalism. So when you're doing, when you're really um, sensitive about that, nothing is going to distract you. Distraction will be far from you. So the essence is that when you're doing this, the purpose is to be able to create this, uh, these great images. So when you're doing this, every other thing is, is secondary. The primary factor yes. is to be able to, you know, tell the story. 
Because every, every, image, every picture has a story to tell. And you're intentional about telling this story. So the essence of this is to tell the story and also maintain your high level of professionalism and also your personality. Because the ones who don't want you to maintain it. Mm -hmm. no, women are very wicked. Exactly. No, we are not wicked. So it still falls back to you as a person. Okay. Right. right. So there's something yeah. about there's something about integrity because I always I always try to infuse that to everything about life. Right. You have to build a great sense of you know uh, integrity to whatever you're doing. It helps you as a person. It helps your mental health. It it helps your visual interpretation. It helps everything about you in terms of creativity and lifestyle. Right, mm -hmm. so when you put together all of these factors, it makes you a decent person. It builds decency around you, even the way you speak. Right, so for me, I've been, I, I think it's now that I do not really photograph nude uh, images anymore. But back then, I used to. Then I would tell people that, because I've had a series of questions, how do you do it? This is me. The essence is to tell a story with, with this subject, with this person. It's, 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 it's not about me, it's about the person. And it's about, you know, my, my decency. After this, what next? Right, so there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a action, there's an action you take and it falls back to somehow, you know, uh, fall back at you and then somehow destroys you. Or in a long run, it falls back to you. So you have to put all of this perspective together, right? And then put together, when you're doing this, this is for the purpose of this and not the other way around. So basically for me, this is how I describe the situation and this is how I somehow manage it. I'm trying. I, I cannot do it. <laughs> okay, see, he has been talking about uh, so many things. Now, I just want to read his, some of his core values. He said that uh, as a top professional photographer, he brings a unique blend of creativity technical expertise and a keen eye for detail to every project. Whether it's crafting, compelling personal branding, portraits, or dynamic corporate headshots, his goal is to help individuals and businesses elevate their visual identity and tell their stories through powerful imagery. As an educator and mentor, he's committed to returning the next uh, nurturing the next generation of photographers and creatives. He provides guidance, support, and uh, industry insights, empowering others to grow, push, to grow their skills, expand their visions, and succeed in the ever-evolving world of photography. His passion is not just about capturing moments, but also about inspiring others to see the world differently and harness the power of visual storytelling. That, that is his core value. And from what you said now, you've shown us that, okay, you are, you are always stuck to this core values. You don't, Absolutely. You don't move away from Absolutely. it. Has that affected your, your profession, your career, positively or negatively? Because some people feel that if you don't do it the way every other person is doing it, you're not gonna make the money or you're not gonna have the fame. So, how your core values, how has it affected your career? Thank you for that great question and for reading out my core value. Uh, so, first of all, when you talk about core value, it, it, you basically talk about your guidance, right? Your identity, your communication. So these are the factors that somehow help put me together to whatever I'm doing, whatever project I'm handling, yeah. this is like my guideline, right? This is why I'm doing this thing. This is the perception, this is the communication. So how it has affected my career positively. Yeah. So in, in my nine years of, of uh, practicing photography professionally, yeah. you know, I realized that in my early days, I really did not have much of the opportunity to somehow learn from professionals, top professionals, right? And when I, I, I started building up more of a self-taught thing before I got professional trainings and all of that. So I really didn't have much of the opportunity. And that was, that's why you see me include that in my vision as a leader, as, a, as an educator, and also you know, a mentor. So okay. what helps me is that I put together all of these you know, young photographers, like what we discussed earlier, they, don't, they do not really have the guidance right, on how to put together themselves when, when they're in such situations, such scenes, how do they protect themselves, how do they build integrity, how do they come out from this kind of, you know, project, same, right? So what this does is it, I, it, I, it, it helps me build up 
and then as I'm also mentoring, coaching, I'm also building up a very sensible and you know top class career, right? Because now on a project, there's a visual process, right? Before you before I go on a project, we have to we have I have my team, we have to put together a visual, you know, uh, mood board, put together all of those, you know, uh, processes that that enable us to create something decent and something top class um, you know to a top class level per se. So for me, how it has how, how my, you know, my vision has helped me, my core values has helped me, you know, build a positive and a top, a, a, a classic career is me putting together all of these, all of these great factors, you know, mentoring, you know, also delivering a high level of expertise, professionalism, coaching, mentoring, and putting all of this together such that it just creates a perception about King's Lake and him, yeah. right? So, when you talk about King's Lake and you talk you you first of all talk about authenticity, yeah. realness in photography, right? So that's one of the things that just put me together and helped me build a positive a positive career via my core values. Wow, thank you so much. Yes, we'll be speaking to Kingsley Ekanem and he's be telling us so much about his core values, his belief, what he stands for and how his journey has been. We'll go on this quick break and when we come back. He will be telling us more about himself. And of course, Rolly is with us in the studio. And uh, we, we all we've been talking to Kinsley Ekanem, and Rolly is here waiting for, for the next question, right? Yes. Someone who wants to become a celebrity photographer just like you, someone who's watching right now and says, hey, um, this is what I want to do. What are the first steps to take and what are the equipment one needs to be able to become as world class as you are? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you too. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, you must be intentional. This is what I want. For me, I've always been I always loved celebrities and then I always loved taking celebrities. I always love celebrities images. So when I dived into photography, I already knew this is what I'm going to do. This will be my target audience. So I've been intentional. So my advice to a young photographer or an, as, an aspiring photographer that, that wishes to be a celebrity photographer, first of all, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to advise you to be intentional. This is what you want to be. This is what you're aiming at. So focus, follow that path, and then be intentional about it. Secondly, you need to build up, right? So there's a level where you you attain in your career and you have to be you have there, there's a certain level you can't go below right mm -hmm. so once you put out a content once you put out projects it has to define your you know your, your level of professionalism so you have to build up use this time you're not attracting celebrities yet to build up create a portfolio create you know create a great level of um, convincing portfolio that when you reach out to a celebrity or somebody is recommending you to a, a celebrity they have something to hold back to as a sense of confidence right so if you do not have this confidence they won't respond to you mm -hmm. Or mostly, um, worst case scenario, they will just somehow, if they want to, they would want to give you an, exper an experience, rather. Okay. They want to give you an exposure, rather. Right? So if you do not want to fall into that category where you're somehow being used for the sake of gaining exposure, mm -hmm. you have to be able to put yourself together. Work on, work on personal projects. Right? Work on personal projects. Create a convincing portfolio that once you're launched, it's a go, right? Mm -hmm. It's a go. And then there's a, there's a certain level you also attain in your photography career that you need a certain equipment. Mm -hmm. How do you get this equipment? It is where you make more money and then you get yeah. more equipment. So the more, the, more, um, the more knowledgeable you become, the more advanced you become, the more money you're, gaining, yeah. you're getting, the more potential clients you're attracting. So it's more of, a, it's more of you putting together, you know, a certain level of, uh, you know, professionalism, and then also putting up a portfolio that is convincing, that can also attract any level of celebrity for you. And also, you need to be able to work on your self, -conf your self confidence so yes. so much. And then you should be away because photography is, you know, visual storytelling. Yeah. You must be aware of so many things mm -hmm. from your from your 
perception to the way you speak to the way you you know you see situations how you handle situations everything has to fall under you and then you put together all of this that will be able to help you and attract you to descent and celebrity clients yes as a coach and as an educator how many people do you have under your training how many people right now have i have you trained or that are under your tutelage right now absolutely so i have a couple of photographers i'm actually i'm currently mentoring okay you know give them insights give them guidance uh and also um you know give them directions mostly because some of the photographers they're really very good but they do not really understand the importance of putting together a photography business like a business of photography that's not the part because to an extent there's the business of photography and yeah. there's photography. Yeah. When you're doing photography, you might just be earning peanuts, dimes. But when you put together a business of photography, you'll be able to make more money as a business. So that's where my mentorship comes into play, okay. right? And then my, my coaching. So I do a lot of stuff helping photographers run uh, social media, uh, advocacy for photographers and all of that. Yeah. But currently, I, I have about, I uh, think about... Uh, I have about 50 photographers Whoa. Um, I'm uh, mentoring. Right I also now. run a community of photographers where I, you know, advocate for, give them insights. I host, I host top photographers like Keleche Amadi, who is my mentor, and a couple of top photographers to speak to them, wow. right? Give them the insights, direct them, guide them, give them that sense of education because yeah. at some point, education is also very essential very in very any business yeah. you're running. So for me, it's a very, you know, uh, sensible and, you know, solid stuff to, to do. Yeah. Your achievement here says uh, through your career, you've had the privilege of uh, photographing political leaders, global celebrities, business leaders, international brands, companies, religious leaders, to mention Bill, a few. And you have won a couple of prestigious awards. Absolutely. Can you tell us about those awards? Yeah. So in 20... Okay, first of all, I've worked, like, I, like you've read, I've worked with a couple of, uh, you know, top personalities. I've worked with, uh, I've worked with uh, someone like uh, Tony Lumelu. Okay. I've worked with someone like Don Jazzy. I've worked with a brand like Facebank. I've worked with a brand like B Bank, just for a few. And then for the awards, I got, I've, got, I've gotten a couple of awards like the... Acquire on State Photography Award and okay. a couple of you know recognitions and all of those stuff. But all of this, what this has done for me is somehow build a great sense of confidence for me that I I, I also see myself that you know wherever I have to be to photograph anybody, I have the confidence, right? Mm. So I cannot I cannot be intimidated because I'm in a certain level or whatever. So. This award has helped me build confidence and also put me through in a sense that, look, you have to be able to also, you know, give out to the community. Mm -hmm. It also, also, it also creates a path for these aspiring young photographers. So this, this is, is not something that just happened overnight. It is a product of hard work, yeah. right? Putting together the work and also expecting something very tangible while you're still forging ahead. So the awards, the, the, the top personalities I've worked with, have really built my sense of confidence. Wow, that's beautiful. Yes, quick question. What's the best picture or the greatest picture you've ever taken? And who was it by? <laughs> <laughs> this, is going, this is going to be... Okay. <laughs> because to be honest, I've shot so many great pictures, yeah. right? I've shot so many great pictures and I really can't tell. Which, but which, one, which one is your favorite? So there's this commercial I did for V Bank and Don that, Jazzy. That's my bank. Oh, great! Yes, great. That's that's amazing. It's a great bank, by the way. Yes. And true. there's this commercial I did with V Bank with Don Jazzy, and he wore this um, um, African attire, and then I don't know how I'm going to describe it, but after the post processing, I I really looked at I looked into the picture like this is wow. And secondly, I think I still have chill for these images. So there's this sunny um, fashion, fashion event. Yeah. So 
I created a couple of pictures and then after my post, I felt like, wow. But I can't really specify a specific picture that, okay, this is my, this is my world class picture or my best picture. But it's been amazing. Like, okay, I think I'm seeing uh, uh, Rick Ross images um, streaming. So okay. during the course of that concert, I think I was out of this world because it's the one that I always love is music. You know, interpret, interpreting this, you know, uh, visuals gives you this great sense of you have to go all out. And sometimes it's not really all out until when you're sitting in, sitting in your uh, um, adjustment processing like Capture One, like Lightroom, and then Photoshop, then you're just out of the world. So I think one of those, that should be part of my greatest pictures, pictures of um, Rick Rose. Okay. Right, yeah. Oh, have, you, have you taken a picture? He will ask uh, one of your greatest pictures, right? Yeah. Have you taken any picture or done any job? I'll be like, go for a bit. This is not my handwork. <laughs> you will be like, I reject this. If it is the people from my village that sent this to me, I bind and I cast it. Have you had that kind of experience? Yes, absolutely. Or, I'm here a client who would say, <laughs> Absolutely. What is this? Tell us Absolutely. So I think that was like, let's say like seven years ago or so. So I had this client and, you know, the client paid some money. Even back then, now used to charge like, let's say, small money, like 5K per session and all of that. So I, I got the pictures, you know, because it was still my transitioning process, right? Yeah. So I was a good photographer, which I could capture good images, but I was not a good retoucher. So okay. I couldn't edit the pictures properly. properly. So I got the pictures after the shoot, the client was viewing, I was viewing the pictures via my camera to, to the client to see. Thereafter, I, when I finished the editing, client said, no, this is not my picture. I don't want the pictures return my money. In my head, I was like, Please, what have I, what is really wrong with these pictures? He said, I don't want the pictures anymore. Return my money. You know, so one of those things, what, what that helped me was to help me build up. So yeah. I, was, I invested my time into, into studying, into learning, to just equipping myself with so much knowledge about photography. Mm -hmm. And then I kept growing. But to this question, there's a certain level you get. You can't go below the standard, you yeah. know. So like anything that comes out of me, it has to represent that, that standard, that level, that brand. Because... This is Lagos. You don't want to fall your hand. Yeah. So one gig coming in, maybe from a referral, and then you want to you want to give a quality delivery, and then from that you're getting another another mm -hmm. you know referral. So at this level, it, it doesn't really happen anymore. You, you know. You cannot. So, you can't so, just <laughs> so just you can't risk it. You know. So it has yeah. to match up the standard. It has to match up the level. So for I mean, in in a long while, I think such hasn't really happened. You know. Mm. So just way back, okay. not a recent time anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, pictures, images, telling a story. Um, if you were asked to shoot something that would be put into your ultimate goal archive, mm. what would it be and how would you shoot it? It could be land, it could be water. Is there anything you've had at the back of your mind that you feel like nobody else has done this? Mm. But if you do it, it will blow exponentially. Absolutely. So, um, creating images has a lot to do with, you know, visual imagination. So, you cannot, in, in this kind of scenario, you can't just get up now and create and think about a thing. It's something you create, invest in time and inspiration, right? So pictures come from inspiration. You're seeing this, like if I, if I had to do something different, I could have a different, you know, uh, outcome or, or post. So you just have to think through it. But something I'm thinking about right now, I, I, if I want to create a timeless portrait, a timeless image now, it has to be maybe someone on the track on the Lagos streets with the bay body holding on stopping the traffic like and then I'll create the person I'll create the person to be in the black and white and then I'll somehow fade or blow a little bit of those traffic lights 
and the cars holding on to the traffic for the person. Now what this does is it's going to stand a test of time because you realize that in the next how many decades you still, ex you still experience crazy traffic in Lagos mm -hmm. and then you fall back to it and it still tell, it tells like a recent and old story yeah. still in that perspective. So I think I'm just giving you a bit of an insight, yeah. but if, so, if, I, if I ponder on it, you know, uh, a bit more, a You'll lot more, it. I'm, going to I'm going to come up with a very creative yeah. process that will, that will enable me, you know, achieve this particular um, kind of picture I would want to create that will take a test of time yeah. as a timeless portrait. Okay, so when you are not for doing photography, you're not in the studio editing, you're not doing, how do you kill? How do you unwind? You just want to relax. <laughs> How do you do that? So, um, I don't know, but I think I'm more of a person that really pay attention to knowledge. Okay. You know, so I'm currently taking a course on project management. Right? Okay. So, so I'm also transitioning from photography to tech. Right? Yeah. So I, when I'm not photographing, I'm studying. Right? If I'm not studying, I just want to do something that impacts my knowledge, something that, you know, builds my, my confidence. You don't hang around, friends. So I've, <laughs> I'm not really a kind of, I don't really have much friends. Yeah. I just have a few friends that basically we talk about business, we talk about ideas, and then, and, and that's that. So um, I'm more of a, you know, uh, a own body. You know, so I can stay in my apartment as much as I want. If I'm not going out for a physical photo shoot, physical meeting, maybe just doing shopping and stuff, I'll be in my house, right? So when I'm around, I have to put something together that, that inspires my creativity. Yeah. And then I'm good. I'll probably set up a, 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 a personal project or job is coming in, and then we just, you know, pull up. How do you do with your female fans? Or I think was using style to ask that question the other time. You didn't get the question. Now I want to ask you. Those okay. of that will come to the studio, not to come and shoot, you, not because that's the uh, don't stop nodding, my friend. You think I'm supporting your view. I'm not supporting you. Or <laughs> I'm not supporting well, your views right yeah, now. <laughs> Those ones that they did not come for photo shoot too. Mm. That but they you know what they came for. Yeah, I'm some young woman like you. <laughs> now they, how do you how do you deal with that? So I okay. think it's it's everything is about appointments. <laughs> they want that they have appointments. So, they will come that they, they, you know that they don't have so, appointments. So there was an appointment. I mean things don't just really happen. But I mean there has to be an appointment. So they something has to bring it to the studio. And so 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 I just have appointments. So I came for <laughs> so an intention has been established. You're okay. having, you're coming for a shoot, or you're coming for whatever, whatever. But it has to be pretending to work, right? So you just need to. We are saying the ones that are not consigning work. <laughs> so, it is not work. So that was, so, it is not work. <laughs> so, so to be very, to be fair, uh, right? To be fair and to be very honest. Okay. It, it, there's no room for that to be honest. So, so we just somehow very much concerned about uh, a personality our image and our reputation. So we live in a world that anything can happen. Yeah. Right. So for you you have to I wouldn't I don't know how to keep my face that oh I'm training on Twitter. Kingsley is training on Twitter. What did he do? My pictures are circulating on my video. Ah uh, I know that I have a very strong mental health but I'll break down because it's about my image, it's about my reputation, it's about yeah. my identity that I'll stand a test of time. So you have to be very conscious as a person, as a creative that you don't allow this um, career thing to, you know, you know, run your life down. So there's my life and there's yeah. a career. So I do not allow my career to That's control true. my life. Yeah. You know, so I separate them in any way I can. Yeah, quickly, your yeah. social media handles for anybody and how people can reach you. In case you have a studio, yeah, you course. can give the address. You can then your social media handles for those that want to book okay. uh, a session with you. Okay. So my my brand name is Flick Media. Okay. And Flick Media underscore on Instagram, Flick Media underscore on Twitter, Flick Media on Pinterest. Uh, then my personal account is Kingsley Kanem on Instagram. 
and then Kingslake and him on Twitter. And then also, I'm currently running a campaign, you know, uh, the corporate, the professional corporate headshot campaign. And so I got to realize that a lot of professionals do not care about, you know, um, professional headshots, mm -hmm. which is more of your, your perception, the way, you the way you're identified, right? So for instance, you being a professional, you know, host, and you being a professional host, you know, you, you literally need to create a very stop, prof um, you have, you need to pay attention to your image branding, right, in terms of creating, you know, professional portrait, and then you're somebody's going on your LinkedIn, seeing your professional headshots. So there's, there's, there's a perception it, it creates, right? So I saw that a lot of professionals do not pay attention to this. So I put up this project, the Professional Headshot Campaign by Kingsley Cunningham. And trust me, it's really doing amazing. And I think that's one of the projects that I, you can reach out to, you can do booking, and then you put together your professional headshot. Well, thank you so much, Kinsley, for coming on the show. It's thank been you. an it amazing time, time, time with you. Yeah, we'll be talking to Kinsley Kahnem, and you see, a lot, a lot, a lot, a professional celebrity photographer. I'll go on this quick break, and when we'll come back, we'll become a celebrity just still does. Yeah, welcome back. This is the West Up on Galazi Television. And we always tell you that this program run, runs from 10 to 11 a.m. Mondays to Fridays, if you're just tuning in. And we'll be talking to Kisley Ekanem, if a celebrity photographer who, who is doing well for himself. All right, now we'll go straight to celebrity. Just early, over to you. My divorce almost took my life, Jennifer Lopez Assad. Now, you know Jennifer Lopez, an American singer yeah. and songwriter and actor as well, you know, um, she shared her thoughts on her divorce from Ben Affleck. I personally thought that both of them were forcing things. Okay. I, I always kept up with them, I followed them all through their journey and it was it was terrible for me. Um, it was more of Ben Affleck trying to get away from um, Jennifer Jim. Lopez's ego. Now, I'll say this, um, as a man or as a woman, if you're not ready to be settled, especially when it comes to media and entertainment. Yeah. Do not do it. Don't let people force you into it. Oh, my old love, we're killing love, we're doing this, we're doing that. You know. Take your time. For example, with that dumb book. Yeah. A lot of people, ah, you're so fine. Why haven't you got him married? She got married at the time she wanted to. When a man would tell her, sit down here, and she would sit down there without any stress. You know those times when she was wilding out and um, chilling, flexing, being um, number one A-list um, celebrity actress in Africa at that point, and winning awards, doing a lot of movies, staying on set, location, vacationing, traveling around the world. No man could have told her to sit and she would have sat. When it was time, the person which she won't listen to says, hey, Babe, I don't want you to go here. I don't want you to do this. Can we do this together? Can that time she has the ability to calm down. And if not, every relationship she would have been would have been toxic. And the person says, Ah, this person is not good enough. No, it's not like she might not be as good enough. It's just that she hasn't gotten to that point. So I feel like that was what Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck had a um, few years ago. They did that from 2022 to 2024. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> they, they got married so quickly, and she was just coming out from a nasty breakup and entered Ben Affleck. I just felt like Ben Affleck was a rebound. Two years just took it. We just dragged it to two years. When you're not right for each other, there are some people that are best as friends. Yeah, not, than not being lovers, yes. yes. Yeah, that's how much you can take from the celebrity guest and, uh, you know, thank you once again to our celebrity guest, Kinsley Ekanen. Or at least, time to say our goodbyes. All right, um, thank you, Kinsley, for coming on the show. We're so thank honored you. and I'm um, opportunity to have you here as well. Um, WhatsApp says, well done, kudos on your, your, thank your, you. Thank your you. work. You're thank doing you. So thank amazing. you. Thank you. Um, yes, drink water and mind the business that concerns you. Do not ever turn up someone else's life oh, because you want yours to shine the brightest every day above six feet. It's a good don't day. Don't drink and drive. Don't drive and drink. This weekend, 
I really want to dance. I want to have fun this weekend. So from tonight up until tomorrow and then Sunday, we're going to be having fun. You should as well. Learn to love people, learn to smile. We hurt people. And um, yes, you can follow me on Instagram right now at official underscore O'Reilly. That's A U R E L W. And I'll follow you back. You can see some of you have been following me and I've been doing the same thing. So um, enjoy the rest of your funky, freaky Friday. Yeah, thank you so much. And yes, this is the end of the week. Happy weekend to you, our dear viewers. Next week, again, I will be talking to different sets of celebrities. So you don't want to miss out in any of these interviews. So ensure that you follow us either on social media or just ensure to tune in on Mondays, 10 o'clock. A very big thank you to the team. Thank you, Rale, for holding it down for this week. Thank you, uh, Johnson, Mr. Coyote. Uh, what's the name of our other camera guy? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, your name just went off my head now. Thank you for standing by. Thank you to everyone. Uh, Mr. Fermi, thank you so much. And to everyone who has contributed uh, to the success of this week's show. My name is Omevi Idolo across all social media platforms. Omevi is O-M-E-V-I, Idolo is I-D-O-L-O-R. It is Friday. If you must drive, please don't drink. And if you must drink, please don't drive. Whatever you're doing, do it moderately. Don't overdo anything because you don't know what the outcome will be. Stay safe out there. If you don't have anything doing outside, stay indoor. Till I come your way next week, we always say from this to the head out, we love you, but you should love yourself more. Bye for now.